It's week three in our off-grid cabin build or remodel, whatever you want to call it. We've decided to do something special next week. We're talking money. We want to give you all the information to do this yourself if you feel inspired. And I think a big part of that is sharing all the costs along the way so that you can plan financially. Make sure you're subscribed and tune in to next week's video so that you can get a good idea of what you're looking at. Anyway, here's week three. Stop it, too cute. Too cute to eat? <laughs> you can have a real hard time with deer. <laughs> or squirrels. <laughs> Go. Well, yeah, we're gonna eat raccoons. <laughs> Anything that walks past our little shack in the woods <laughs> will be eaten or run over and eaten. <laughs> That's who we're gonna be. All right, good morning. It's the next day. I have to plan my stuff around. The family they got to go out and do stuff keep weight occupied and i can work in here unencumbered <laughs> So, the uh, Lexel around the hole in the drain, or the hole in the floor for the drain, is drying. I'm going to go ahead and move the tub in position. Oh yeah, I also forgot to check the bottom of my uh, tub. This one doesn't have the lip seam on the bottom, so it's flat on the bottom, so I'm not doing any... I'm not doing the wax seal like I was thinking I was going to. And I'm not doing um, the spray foam. So you take a shower, it'll warm up. <laughs> Unless I decide to put some foam sheeting underneath it at some point. Like I said, I'm not screwing it into the floor or anything. You know, obviously, because I put holes in it. Okay. I think that looks good. Sweet. <laughs> It's kind of thick. Yeah, broke it, trying to do the first bend. Broke the ear right off it. Now, I'm just using the stick from it, the, the handle, and bending it on the ground uh, with my feet. So, that didn't work out as planned. Okay, let's see what we got. This is supposed to be, just kind of put it here for now, just kind of see. I need the bar on that side. I want to put the um, coupler right because it's threaded. I'm gonna see if I can do it. I, I kind of eyeball measure it before. Get out of the way. Before I bought the thing.
All right. So we bent her. I checked her on my tempo on the ground. She's close enough. Um, width wise, she's perfect. Radius, I think this one's a little bit shallow. This one's a little bit almost perfect, but we're a little bit short on the ends, right? So short this direction. All good. I mean, I'm fine with it being smaller because it's what the curtain sits on. And if the curtain's smaller, then it's going to fall in there better. Uh, in any case, I didn't think that was going to work. <laughs> After I broke the bender the first try to like attempt at bending, I'm like, uh, crap. Yeah, but we got her together, and then uh, I just took the original coupler. can't remember what these are called. I think they're like trade couplers or something like that. They don't have a set screw or a grub screw or anything like that. I threaded it all the way on to one end, and then butted the other one up and lined them up and essentially tightened it up to this end as well and loosened it off the other end, right? It makes sense because it's not opposite threads. It's pretty solid. Now I'm going to figure out where the hangers are going to go. The shower curtain rod, hula hoop, whatever, is mounted. I'm going to do all the taping right here. And I should be done in here, I think. Until Megan comes back with the rod, or curtain, my bad. Yeah, then I'll go outside. All right, so finally got around to getting outside. I'm gonna lug one of these up the hill. They don't weigh anything, but oh, shit. I got like 30 minutes before I gotta leave and get to uh, meet Megan and, and wait. So um, I probably wouldn't. Have, I would definitely wouldn't have had time to pump anyway. But I wanted to make sure that I was gonna have the hose length to. Uh, at least have the hose length. We'll see if the pump even can push it up here. But <laughs> fingers crossed. <sighs> what do you call it? I'm like 10 feet short on my hose. So this guy, little crappy hose going down. And then the other one's like right over there. Um, so I'm 10 feet short. But I figured I'd start laying out the uh, hose or the main line. So there it is right there, there's the adapter. All right, cool, 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 cool. All right. We'll unfurl a little bit of it, get the memory out of it, at least till I can get the ground and, and start going that way a bit. So that's all I got done. <laughs> it's 15 till I gotta leave and I gotta put some stuff away um, and maybe get a bite to eat. I haven't eaten anything all day. Megan told me I need to eat something. Sorry, I'm tripping over little stumps all day and uh, not necessarily, well, Megan can tell you I'm not the best at this. So, anyway, we're gonna get water tomorrow. I'm not lying, I swear.
time for time for meal. It's meal time. Got enough wood for tonight. Let's see what we got. Bacon. I got some bacon. So, hmm. The bed will go up there. We'll figure out a uh, like anti-fall situation for up top. I think that'll fix a lot of problems. This little firebox is too small to not need uh, tending midway through the night. I fill it completely up and get it going and lower the uh, airflow, and it still it still burns through all that wood before we wake up in the morning, like. 3 a.m., 2.30, maybe even earlier than that, it is done. But because heat rises, I've checked up there in the morning with the silly little extendo ladder that I was using outside. That's the only ladder we have. Um, it's toasty up there. <sighs> yeah. We're going to have water tomorrow. We're going to have water tomorrow. All right, so I won't say that... Uh... I built that tower up there for nothing, uh, but we don't have enough pressure. Got a little Seaflow 12 volt RV pump from Camping World, less than 100 bucks, with the manual uh, bypass adjustment, so I can set my pressure how I want it. Um, three gallons per minute, 55 max psi. I think it's like a seven and a half amp draw max on starting. So I got that, I got a battery, 100 amp hour lithium pro series. I'm gonna buy smaller ones from now on, cheaper ones from Amazon. It's only big because it's supposed to fit into a boat. So it's like a group 31 or something like that. Boat battery, it's huge. Got a box for that. This guy will get mounted somewhere over here. I'll eventually make a little insulative cubby for it. Um, and then the battery will sit next to that, also insulated in a box so that Wade can't get into it. And then we'll route some wire through, oh my gosh, 12 volts DC. Oh, you're welcome, Tesla. Nikola, Tesla, not Elon. Um, DC guy. So we'll run some wire through there to an inverter. I got a 1500 watt inverter to run Megan's laptop and other assorted things um, off the battery at night as opposed to having to run the generator. The generator will run in the day just to charge the battery and we'll see how that works how much we need to run other appliances uh, based on that draw the back for now that's what we're going to run so i'm going to go up top shut off the water at the main up there i already shut off these ones um we'll shut off the water at the main and then and then i got all the stuff to set up the shower curtains and whatnot um, as well as some Eight foot studs to do the uh, little wall there um, to wall off the bathroom so you don't get so you don't got people watching you while you go potty right or shower um, and we'll eventually put a door there but yeah let's get to it hi <laughs> it's been a full week of living at the cabin now and we've gone through our first giant multi-day rain where it just it just sprinkled and came down and sprinkled and came down and uh, washed our driveway completely out. I had to park at the bottom of the hill in the spot that our neighbor cleared for the tractor and the trailer and then Woody is coming in right now. Um, we load up into his truck and he dragged us back up the hill. Hi. You ready? <gasps> Are you gonna do the water? Yeah. Ah! Preparatory nicotine break. Uh. Ah. Really? No hands? Seriously? No, it's my, it's my pet. Shut up. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not going to run the shower first. We're going to run the sink. Uh, okay. Obviously, because all the stuff's in the sink or the shower. The way this thing works, come on, check it out. I got to get a new fitting. These stupid hose bar ones aren't working. I got to get the metal ones. Okay. As you can see, it's dripping. So, and I got to extend the lines. But for now, I prepped it. We have 50 PSI right here. And she cuts off. It's, it's slowly dripping. 50 PSI. Slowly dripping out of there. So it's losing a little bit of pressure as we speak. Um, but my flow is turned all the way up. I believe that's all the way up. Looks, and Looks like it. And this is all the way down. 
So this is how it's supposed to start. We have batteries in here. So I'm gonna start flowing the hot and this thing should kick on. You should hear some clicks. So okay. you stay out here and you let me know it clicks. Okay. Yell loud. Water's on. Oh. Oh, that's all the way on. It's on. Oh, no, turn this back on. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm on. Okay. <laughs> using it. Take two. <laughs> all right, we figured it out. This is actually open all the way flow. Okay, turn it on. That's all I guess. So, turn it on. <laughs> okay. Crank it up. Woo! Go check it. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Feel that, Megan? Ooh. Oh, it's so nice. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. Oh. High five. Hot. High five. High five. Very nice. We did it. You did it. I was here. Get out of here, bug. <laughs> okay. We have hot water. Um, which means I can finally start like washing dishes every night without hating my life and showering here, which is like a super game changer. Thrilled. So thrilled. <laughs> I've been trying to keep it relatively clean and organized in here, but with all the tools that we need to work on things that are also in here, it's been really hard. But today, that's gonna change. This folds out into a, a king size bed. I'm gonna get this upstairs into the loft. We got almost everything out of there yesterday, and then it's definitely free of mice now. So, gonna get the bed up there where it's nice and warm a lot longer than it is down here. Game changer. Support this. Okay, I'm going to go to the far side, the big yeah. side. Gotcha. Hold on, I got to flap it to you real quick. Hold on. There it is. Got the uh, wa hot water heater working, um, fixed the leaks, did a little repiping outside. Um, I may have to add, after testing it out on the sink, you know, much further down the line, highest flow as possible, um, 
it seems to be really hot. So like the the temperature setting is kind of ridiculous. Like you boil water with the darn thing, it seems like. So I may have to add a cold water mix to this. So have a second valve for cold water to mix it in there. But for now, I want to get the shower curtain on. I picked out the shower curtains. So as long as along with this beautiful uh, runner rug here, which fits perfectly between the um, tub and the wall. Let's get this on here and see how she do. I do hope it, that the temperature thing was just a fluke because I would love to be able to unveil this to Megan tonight. I gotta go over soon and get some food. She's making candied bacon and chili cheese dip. Oh yeah. Tasty. Tasty treats. All right. Welcome to the shower. So you step in, you got these guys overlapping right here. You step in. Make sure this guy crosses. Hold on there. Okay. Now you're totally encapsulated. Cool. You can reach your water stuff right here. All right. This is in shower mode. Obviously in wade mode, we would slide some of these out of the way. And then you just have to move this and the uh, fillers right here. Somewhere over here. Right there. Yeah, we're all done sleeping in the loft. We had our first night in the loft, the three of us. Yeah. Yeah. Did you like sleeping in the loft? Was it nice? It stayed so warm up here. It was like 40 degrees out, and it was totally comfortable up here. No fire on the wood-burning stove. Nothing. Just just everybody up here cuddling. I was not mom. They're sweetie. You want some some water? No. No, you want some milk? Yeah. Okay, we'll get you some milk. All right. So while I'm waiting on a response back from a marketplace posting for a stump grinder. I am going to do some inside stuff. I've already done some organizing outside on the porch. So in here, I'm gonna set up where this is gonna go. Megan got this. She likes chandeliers a lot. I'm indifferent about them. You know, make it look nice and homey. So we got like a little uh, candle chandelier, candelier, whatever you call this thing. It's gonna go centered on the stove pipe, probably right about here. Mama's turning the lights on. Then we'd be in the 20th century. <laughs> They're getting there. They're getting there. They were, They're lighting. They were duds initially. <laughs> cool. Look at that. That's fancy for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and it must be true. 
Would you like to say anything, Megan? Okay, go for it, Wadey. <laughs> go for it. <laughs> That's all light we got, buddy. <laughs> <laughs>